And that was live coverage of a news conference happening right now, hearing from the prosecutors and U.S. Attorney Carmen Ortiz following the announcement that the death penalty has been handed down against Johar Sarnayev. And at the time of the bombings, Johar Sarnayev was a student at UMass Dartmouth. And today we went back to the university for reaction to today's death sentence verdict. Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russum continues our in-depth coverage live from Dartmouth. Well, this is where Jahar Zarnayev went to school when he and his brother bombed the Boston Marathon two years ago. This is still a very sensitive topic for the school. We spoke with a few students. They say it's just way too complex for them to tell us what they actually think on camera. Now, Zarnayev was a sophomore two years ago when the bombings did happen, and today is graduation day for the university. We asked the school official if this would have been his graduation day, but they say it's just impossible to know based off of credits. Two years ago, the campus was shut down after police found out one of the bombing suspects was a registered student here. The school has played a smaller role in this overall trial. During the witness testimony, we learned that three months before the marathon bombings, Zernayev told a college administrator that he wasn't able to concentrate in class because he lost too many loved ones in Chechnya. We also learned about his grades, three Fs and a B during the fall of 2012. Coming up at six, we will recap how UMass Dartmouth played a role in his capture. Also what they found when police raided his dorm room. Live in Dartmouth with the Mobile News Room, Perry Russ of Eyewitness News. And our in-depth coverage continues now. At the time of the attacks, Joe Harsonayev was a student and living in a dorm at UMass Dartmouth. And police swarmed the campus for days afterward. Today, a completely different scene where students are focusing on their bright futures at graduation. From the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russum joins us now live at UMass Dartmouth. Jahar Zarnayev was a sophomore here at UMass Dartmouth when he bombed the Boston Marathon. We want to take you back to what it was like here two years ago. The campus was shut down and evacuated for two days as the university found out one of the suspects was a registered student here. SWAT teams arrived to campus by helicopter. Police raided Zarnayev's dorm room, finding the white hat he wore during the bombings, that backwards hat with the number three on it. They also found a box of BBs and a BB gun. Authorities say BBs were just one of the ingredients in the pressure cooker bombs that were used that day. Today here at UMass Dartmouth is graduation day for the university. This is supposed to be a happy day for the school, but now the two-year-old scar of what one student has done is cut back open. We spoke with some of the students here on campus today, none of them wanting to talk to us on camera, saying the issue was just too complex. Live in Dartmouth with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.